found 40 more cannons. Wow. This is one of the 40. There's, there's over 60 cannons now that we found on the ship. Chris, I'm George Dolan. So Barry, what's going on here today? Well, um, this is um, a new discovery for us. You know, as you know, we've been finding cannons over the years, but um, we just found 40 more. Whoa! And we know that they were all stored in the very bottom of the ship, down where the all of the ballast stones are, because there's huge piles of stones all around this, mixed in with gold dust and coins. They're all different. We have Dutch cannons, English cannons, and Spanish. Well, I should add that these cannons are plugged. The tampions are still in the, um, the end of these cannons. What does that mean? That they're, um, they're still loaded. What? <laughs> really? Ready to go? Ready to go. Just yesterday was the fact when we realized that underneath these cannon there were even more cannon. And there's artifacts sticking up everywhere. You know, gold dust coins and unidentified big concretions. And this stuff was found in the same area where you first found everything? Exactly where we started uh, 27 years ago. The area was uh, thought to be sterile because there was a big iron box that was placed there by one of our archaeologists. And that iron box disguise the whole magnetic signature of the area. In other words, when we'd go through there with sophisticated metal detecting equipment, <clears throat> oh yeah, there's a lot of metal there. Right. Little, little did they know that there were 40 cannons under that iron box. And what's the JFK Jr. connection to these cannons? Well, John said that he saw a stack of cannons down very deep one day, but they get covered up very quickly. What was JFK Jr. like on the boat when he was working with you? Uh, John was a, just a great help to us, and he was actually the first person to dive on the shipwreck with me back in 1982. We came over in November of 82, just John and I. We hired a local fisherman to take us out to the site. We dove, John dove down. He was the first one to make the first dive, and he came up and said, Barry, there's just sand. So, um, meaning we had to dig and right. dig and dig and dig, and we're still digging today. And uh, tell us about JFK Jr.'s compass and where that comes into all of this. Well, one of the divers came up into the pilot house and said, you're not going to believe this. And he handed me John's compass, that JFK ca carved into the back of it. He said this was snagged on one of the cannons that was buried very deep. So it all comes around again, back to the same place, and years more work on the pirate ship Witta. Yeah, well, don't forget, they robbed 54 ships. So we have the cargoes and treasure of over 54 ships on this one ship.